This is a step-by-step -step JavaScript tutorial to customize the functionality of the ERP Next user interface from beginner to advanced levels. Prerequisites, basic knowledge of ERP Next, familiar with JavaScript and web development concept, installed ERP Next instance, preferably version 15. Let's begin. I am already logged into my ERP Next instance. From search bar, I will search the client script list. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a client script for sales order because we are going to manipulate the sales order doc type and its user interface. Add client script, sales order script, doc type will be sales order. Apply to it will be applied on form and it must be enabled. Here is the structure of the code. We will do our coding under here. Let's save it. We're going to start from very simple. Let's create a button on sales order document. The button name is, let's say it, show masses. So I have already opened a sales order document and you can see the button is appeared here, show masses. And when I'm clicking on it, nothing is happening because we have not written any code yet to do anything. Now I'm going to add some functionality in this button. Let's say if it can identify my click or not. Frappe.msg. Frappe.msg print with the text to show button clicked. Save the script and refresh the page. Let's see what happened. Button clicked message. So it works. So what we have done. Let's make the message more meaningful. Let's say we want to show the document status as message. How to do that? To capture the message, we have to type form dot doc dot status. That's it. It will show the status of current document. Current document means documents under sales order. Refresh the page, clicking on show MSG. I think it will show the masses and masses text should be document status. This is the document status to deliver and build for this document. If everything is good, masses should show this. And it is showing to deliver and build. So it's working fine. What to do if you want to show the numeric value like total as message? In that case, we have to convert it to a string. So let's see how to do that. Let's go back to the scripting window. Instead of a status, we want to show the total dot to a string. So let's add some label. It will do the job. Let's see. Refreshing. So total is 200 trend. This is the actual value. Now, let's summarize what we have learned today. First, we have created a button. frm.add custom button in bracket show msg is the caption of the button. Second, showing message. We have added frappe.msg print to show the message. Showing a status as message. 
here you can see frm.doc.status is dynamically showing the status of the document finally we have learned how to convert numeric to string here we have also learned how to combine text level and value in a message that's all for today see you again in the next tutorial with more advanced javascript concept